Hey children, welcome to Passing Shirt Looks Easy series. All right, this is your 2020 edition, and we'll be looking at something called area and perimeter for this crash there. And let's go. Bernie has a rectangular piece of paper. He cut six identical, identical means what? Same, same isosceles triangle from it. As a result, the area of the paper is now. 279 square centimeter. All right. After cutting, it becomes 279 square centimeter. The perimeter, the perimeter of the resulting paper is 54 cm longer than the original paper. So part A, you're supposed to find the area of what? Each triangle. And part B, you're supposed to find the perimeter of each triangle. Ready? Let's go and look at part A first. So I need to find the what? The area of the what first? Original piece of paper because I can. Come on. The length is 25. The breadth is 15. Can I just find the area of this piece of paper? Yes. So the area of the original paper is actually 25 times 15, which is a 375 square centimeter. Then what happened? Bernie take his scissors and cut, cut, cut. Six same, same isosceles triangle out. All right. After cutting this six isosceles triangle out, what happens? The blue color area, the blue color, the, the blue color area is actually 279. All right. So after removing the six triangles, the blue color area is 279. Eh? So can I easily find out what is the area of this six triangle? Last time the original piece of paper is 375, right? Now after removing this six triangle, it becomes 279. Eh? So the difference right of 375 minus 279 equal to 96 square centimeter. It comes from where? It must come from the six identical isosceles triangle that Bernie removed. Is that true? So if six triangles, right, the area of six triangle is 96, you're looking for the area of one triangle, right? So how? Just divide by 6. Uh. They are identical. They are the same, same. So can you divide by 6? Sure. 96 divided by 6 is a 16 square centimeter. And that's answer your part A. Yes. Moving on to part B. All right. So we are looking for the perimeter of each triangle. And here comes the clue. The clue say that the perimeter of the resulting paper is 54 cm longer than the original paper. Can we go and find out what is the original paper, the perimeter of the original paper first? Can, right? Simply take 25 plus 15 plus 25 plus 15. Can? Or simply 25 plus 15, then times 2. Lah. Bracket times 2. Lah, huh? So the total perimeter of the original paper will be a 80 cm. Is that okay? So now you know the what? The original paper, the perimeter of the original paper. They say what? After cutting, right? After cutting means what? Cutting out this six isosceles equal triangle. What happened? The resulting paper is 54 cm. Where is the resulting paper? Ah, so after you remove this six identical triangle, right? What happened? The white color outline, right? That is actually the perimeter of the resulting paper. And this white color border, right? Is actually what? 54 cm longer than the original paper. Simply what? 54 plus 80. Lah. So it's equal to what? 134 cm. So the perimeter of this white color border, ah, this white color outline ah, is actually 134 cm. Is that okay? So the question asks for the perimeter of each triangle. So as you can see, right, ah, on top there's this 25 cm, below there's this 25 cm, right? These are the things that you know. You always get rid of the things that you know first. So the length of 12 equal sides is equal to 1, 3, 4 minus the top 25 and the bottom 25 to give you 84. All right, 84 cm is 12 equal sides. Where got 12 equal sides? Ah, so as you can see, this one, the side of the triangle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What? Oh, got 12. And they are all the same length. Why? I saw the list. Why? I saw the list. The two sides are the same, right? You know that, right? So if you got 12 equal sides 84, can you go and find one side? So the length of one side will be what? 84 divided by 12 is equal to 7 cm. So one side is 7 cm uh, for the isosceles triangle. Hey, how about the base? As for the base, you have to look for the what? You have to look at the width of the rectangle. The width of the rectangle is 15 cm. Inside this 15 cm got what? Got three base, right? 
of the isosceles triangle. So 15 divided by 3 will give you what? 1 base. Lah. All right, so 1 base is 5 cm. So what is the perimeter of one triangle? One triangle is formed by the side, the side, and the base, right? 7 plus 7 plus 5, law, that would be a 19 centimeter. That is the perimeter of one triangle. Is that okay? Okay, right? Yes. So area and perimeter, this type of question is very, very doable one. Can do. All right. Number one, important, remember the formulas. Can. And number two, what you do? Sometimes you need to what? You need to cut and paste in order to form another full shape. Yeah, so a lot of cutting and pacing is involved. And number three, right, is about what? Visualizing. You have to visualize, okay, after I remove this, what will happen and all this. All right, so your, these three skills have to come into place where we talk about area and perimeter. Number one, formula. Number two, the cutting and pasting part. And number three is the, the visualization skill. Is that okay? All right, and th that's all for this uh, question. And this is Bernong Ong from 88 Tuition signing off. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.